I think they finally figured out how to fix Schwinn Tech. I'm over here at the 2025 Tampa Super Show, finally getting my hands on this new system. Of course, I'm going to get more information uh, on this system, but as of right now, I have my hands on a demo, and I have a coach that it's installed on, which is going to be the Lineage, which is a motorhome by Grand Design. Walking over here, you can see along the side, initially I thought, oh no, we're still using Schwinn Tech, but when you come down and look, you see, no, we're using SureSlide, which is pretty much Schwinn Tech, but we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty here for a sec. Although it looks like it, it is very different. There's some key things to see here. We no longer have the wiggly rails. There's some things in here that changed I'm gonna show you. And of course, they've also went with some excellent floor rollers because that's also a common failure point. So coming over here, we actually have a display of the new system. And you can see a little bit of difference with the rails here. The columns themselves look the same, which is really important because that means that this system does in fact turn out to be a lot better. It could potentially be a direct replacement. For those of you that may already have a coach that has Schwinn Tech slides and they continue to fail, well, you now have an option for something to replace it with. Now, some of the key differences I've already noticed, again, are gonna be the rails but the rails look a little bit different in a few ways. One, the gears look different, but there's also not the notch for the V-roller. And that's because the V-roller has been completely eliminated and we're going with a double shoe design. Now, we all know the shoes are the number one failure point in the Schwinn Tech system, but those shoes fail for a couple reasons. One is really just a variety of things causing improper weight balance so that too much weight ends up getting supported on these columns that should be lying on the rollers on the floor of the RV. You, I also have a sample of the new rollers that they're using and this system definitely feels a lot beefier. You have a nice metal roller, it's sitting in a nice track, we can see we have you can see we have multiple seals on there. We have a wipe seal that goes along the bottom of the room and we have a bulb seal on the front of that. Looking a lot better than previous versions of floor rollers for sure. And then you have your other seals that are going on the side of the room. Again, going with D seals. We are kind of changing some things up in the industry though because the D seals across, God, almost every unit are pretty much the same. And we're starting to see some things change, which might suck for me stocking parts, but other than that, not too bad. Now let's get back over to this column. Again, the key differences being they've changed the rails, they've gone to a double shoe design, they've eliminated the V-roller. I did already pull up some schematics, but I don't have all the information in my hands here at the show. So I'm gonna cover some more as soon as I have more information on this, but I wanted to give you guys a first look at what they have changed with the Schwinn Tech, even though they're not calling it Schwinn Tech and they're calling it Sure Slide, it's exactly what it is. It is a direct replacement for the Schwinn Tech system that has seen some good, it's seen some good improvements. I will give them that. You know, you guys all know that I, I like many techs. I don't have anything to good to, to say about Schwinn Tech systems, but as of right now, this is looking promising. So my goal is to not only spend some time operating the system, but hopefully get some more technical manuals. And if I can find a Lippert rep out here, hopefully get some more information about how the system has changed. If you guys wanna see some more tech tips like this, tech tips, tricks, tours, make sure you guys are pressing that subscribe button.